At the beginning, I have to tell you, it had been quite hard. My home was like an onion at the beginning, right? The first layer, the core, my home, like what I considered home, was three things in my bag. Toothbrush, USB pen, and Parmesan cheese. But now it's everything under this roof, so I could consider this being my home. Where I come from, for example, in Italy, you know, we deal with this chaotic side in our day, everyday life. You know, if we are rather mo much more passionate and much more um, um, flowing, rather than being so rational, so functional, it makes me think about how the surveillance is 24 hours. Basically, if you see on the buses, there are, I don't know, if six or seven video cameras constantly recording. Basically, I think that from when you step out of your house to when you reach another private space, in all the public spaces in the city, it is very rare that you're not under control, video camera control. A city cannot control everything. You have to give, to leave some spots of, of chaos. And it's, I think, that's how London deals with it. It just push, squeezes the whole chaotic aspect of life into the weekend. Like, and there are specific spots like Camden where this is particularly evident. But that's the way that in which they deal with, with um, diversity as well. I mean, it, it, they're, they're unified by the fact of being Londoner and sharing this space and sharing these values, which I quite didn't get completely. So at the beginning, I just had fire coming out of my eyes. Whereas now I'm Britishizing a little bit. I can manage, you know, with, uh, with having to calm down maybe and try to speak a little bit more politely. So London to me now, it is still an evolving concept. Uh, the way I behave is still in, in, in transforming in a way. I feel very different from when I first came because I'm learning also how to communicate with the city. It's starting to become home. <laughs>